Well, today again, I'm checking this uh, microphone. It's a bit of breeze. I've just took the, uh, it's a wired mic, like a lapel mic, but it's one that you plug straight into a computer. Don't need a battery, so it'll be running on the camcorder battery, I should assume. Just to see how loud it is, just to get the, uh, and see if it picks up anything. As you can see on the map, chime bell in front of us. It's a bit of a wind today, so when I play it back, I'll know how much wind it picks up, or background noise, and how loud it is. I've got my headphones in, so uh, it sounds pretty uh, okay on the earphones. I mean, it was l as low as I could get it, and then I just put it on one notch. And it's a bright sunny day today, so the bar indicators show into well, three to four. So hopefully it's not too loud. Just zip that zip again. I've got the microphone just tucked inside my jacket. So hopefully it's okay. And it's a great day for doing video outside because it's a bright sunny day. As you can see, I'll just pan up to the sky and show you the few clouds that are about. Well, it's actually that bright that I can't even see the sun, the screen. So, uh, well, there you go. Also, see what sound it just pick up outside, but it's pretty quiet out today. So, uh, somebody's getting into a car. But run over an engine start. Like I say, breeze is. Not a great breeze, but there is a breeze, so it should pick the wind up into the microphone. The only reason I'm showing the, the uh, jam thing there is uh, just to show that there is a wind. And then see what outside noise it picks up. In the back garden, there's garages at the back of me, so people move in and out, cars, and shut doors and things. No wildlife though, maybe because it's mild today, it's like 14, 15 degrees and it's a nice sunny uh, spring day. But this is more of a check for myself on the mic, see what it's like. Well, we all know we could be filming for ages and uh, not get any... Uh, I'm just getting used to this camera core at paddling at slow speed and zooming in and out at slow. I'm an amateur, so uh, the car just started, but you might hear the volume of my, I mean the, the vocal of my voice right over the top of it. I'll just open the jacket and there is a bit of a breeze, so I'll know how much actually this does pick up or my uh, voice will override it when I'm outside doing any type of movie. So now the, microvo the microphone's uh, open to all elements. It's just clipped onto my uh, front of my uh, T-shirt. So. And there is a breeze like you can see on the ch wind chimer there. So uh, other than that, it's very quiet. Unless I do macro filming. Uh, but I know I've done some uh, on this camera, and the Panasonic HS900 is a fantastic camera, as far as quality in HD goes anyway. And I know there's lots and lots of cameras out there, but I want, I went for one with a uh, hard drive, save changing cards over. I mean, I think I can get up to 100 hours on here. Nobody does 100 hours, but there you go. It's got a big hard drive, save, save, uh, about the cars and things like that. I'll click that off, do a bit of microphone, I think, take it off its tripod. Oh, that was one thing I was going to try on this now. It does creak, it's a cheap. Um, I said before you couldn't get a slow pan with this, but you can. It's a cheap tripod. And that's the one just getting up a little bit. It's hard to see on the screen when it's a bright sunny day. I mean, I've got the screen set at a pretty high 
I thought it would be more jerky, a cheap tripod. I know you get what you pay for nowadays, but yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. I'll have slow pan that. Maybe we could go zoom in faster, but I think it spoils the actual uh, picture when you go in like this. I'm wobbling it, even though it's got an anti thing. The only thing it is is the up and down movement. I find a bit. Yeah, you get a bit of a creak on the old. You know, probably pick it up on the microphone. You know, creak, creak, creak. I've lost it. Joint. Well, then I won't be paddling in and out and that with this. It's probably be stable half the time, so. And there we go. I just got this zoom off to a. Uh, There's a wind, like I say, and that's, that mic is open to the element of the breeze, so I wonder what type of breeze it's picking up on me, yeah. And I'll play it back on the computer. And that'll do for that bit of a test. I'll just shut this up. That's like the mic, the mic is covered over now. On the jacket. So the mic's just inside the coat. On the jacket, so uh, hopefully, yeah. Uh, on my earphones, I can't hear no wind or breeze. So, uh, it's got a little tiny uh, wind muffler on the mic. Like I say, it's a cheap lapel mic. So it was really, I think it was made for, it's got a pink connection, like you, you plug into the old computer. So it's not battery operated, and it's got maybe two and a half meters of lead with it. And I know it would sound a lot better than the actual uh, camcorder itself. Camcorder is not a bad microphone. It's alright for inside if you're doing parties. It's a 5.1 surround sound inbuilt mic on board. So That'll do for that part and then we'll switch it off and see what it plays back like. I know it's like a micro uh, while taking the, uh, I forgot the name of it, close up. But it is a very clear picture. I don't know what the mic's like. HD, I suppose, <coughs> it should be good. Especially with the sunlight today. Like I say, it's not on the tripod, this so. And you can see the wind, there is a wind, as you can see. That's the only downfall, like it's a bright sunny day, is that you cannot see the screen that well. So you actually don't know whether you're in a true focus or not. I think it's a judging game. I don't like if you looked at the old video, if you can remember when I just zoomed into that clock. I mean, on my screen that looks okay, my eyesight's not brilliant, like I say, but. Anyway, I think we'll take some dark. And now I've moved into the uh, darker part of the garden. I think if you remember the last time, I took a, did take one of this, and it's still on the same setting, still on autofocus. It's good. It'd be a good uh, camera for macro. Definitely, this isn't in macro. It's just I'm just close up to things with the camera, but viewing things in HD on in the garden. Uh, into this corner. I'm zooming right out. There you go. Hopefully this mic's uh, a different colour. 
was in favour in a bit of pink with a uh, darker background. Especially with the sunlight, just for catching it, it should look nice. And then there's a bit of gold thing. Well, gold, it's not gold, it's just a goldy colour. And I'm just using the ring on the front of the camera just to zoom in and out. It's a lot slower and uh, smoother zoom in and out of things, so that might be handy to use. Better than, like, I'll change to the top one. Well, this is the other one where you zoom in, you're just touching it like that. Well, I'm back to the ring now, so it's a smoother, smoother zoom in and out. And it doesn't interfere in, in any way, you can get your hand around the front of it, it's a pretty big ring. Unless you had a big uh, sun visor on the front of your camera. Which, if you're in the right position, I don't think you need really. I mean, something like it's a lot of zoom so far, though, that like, oh, it does it itself. So, I'm just trying zooming into this thing. I can't see the sunlight, so. I'm in the shade a bit so I can see a bit more on the screen now. And to me that looks like in about true focus there. Hopefully the microphone's not picking the ammo, somebody's hammering away in the background. Yeah, the chime thing ringing. Let's just zoom out of this. And zoom into this. Mm. And that's the only thing, it's a very, very, very sensitive zoom. And I could use the ring on the front, which is, that's like a manual, you could jump to your, just your ring on the front. Zoom in's really slow. You've got a steady hand, which I haven't. But, uh, yeah, well, that's like a manual zoom in and out. But it's on the slider, on the ring, on the front of the camera. So you can gradually zoom into something. It's a lot, a lot steadier than the actual arm on the top, which you slide side to side, doing it on the ring. 